Hello, everybody, and welcome to Profiling Evil Reacts. Today, I got an email from Tim in the back office who sent me a video of a police officer allegedly planting evidence in the vehicle of a young man in Caledonia, Wisconsin. His note said, quote, this is blowing up on Twitter. A guy films a police officer tossing a baggie in the back seat, and people are saying the cop is planting evidence, close quote. Holy cow, my heart sunk, and I thought to myself, we've got to call it like it is. Well, I hope you'll take a moment, hit the like and the subscribe button. Ring the bell, folks. That way you'll receive notifications on videos like this one. You know, I created the Profiling Evil YouTube channel to not only look at cold cases and offer some ideas and some thoughts and hopefully educate you a little bit, but also to rehumanize law enforcement. I think they've had a pretty tough couple of years. Some of that scrutiny has been very well deserved. You know, um, we've, we've been pretty darn blunt when dealing with situations where there are dirty cops. Nobody hates a dirty cop more than a good cop. And I watched this video that was tweeted by folks with a tagline, cop is caught in planting uh, evidence. I was shocked at the number of people who also blew this thing up on YouTube with titles such as Dirty Cop Caught in 4K Planting Evidence. Let's watch the video of this. Hey, bro, what's that? What's what? That you just threw in here. What's the what word? I got, I got you on camera, bro. I got you on camera. We're all good. Hey, bro, you just threw that in here. Yeah. Now, I, I slowed this down just so we could look at it real quickly. Here he is tossing in that package. You'll see it again in slow motion here. You'll see it going into the back seat. And, man, this, this doesn't look good. We can even see where the individual is focusing on what is in the back seat. We'll be able to see that sitting on the back seat and what the concern is. One thing I've talked a lot about on Profiling Evil is the responsibility we have to not make judgments based on a little bit of information. You've heard me quote uh, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle so many times, who when he's speaking as Sherlock Holmes once said, it is a capital mistake to theorize before one has data. Insensibly, one begins to twist the facts to suit theories instead of the theories to suit facts. Well, at first blush, the video is outrageous. It fits all the concerns and claims of corruption that are out there. This is where we can really get off track, though. In this case, more than 220,000 people on one tweet alone have agreed with the author of the tweet that this is proof of police corruption. One Twitter handle actually encouraged others to, quote, do the Twitter thing apparently hoping it would lead to a viral negative response. Well, before you judge this video one way or another, I wanted to share something from the Caledonia police chief. They put it on their Facebook page. It's in response to the video, and he reminds the rest of us that there were other officers that were conducting this legal traffic stop. This vehicle was traveling almost 20 miles over the posted speed limit of 45 the passengers in the vehicle were not wearing seatbelts, at least those in the back seat that I've been able to read. And the officers, while searching one of them, recovered this plastic baggie. Now, you can hear them say in this, the corner of the baggie is torn open, but they clearly say it does not contain any illegal substances. It was handed to one of the officers who was pro approaching the vehicle at that moment to look inside. The officer tossed the baggie into the back seat, and it was this act that was captured on video, and it was this video that people are using to falsely say the police officer was planning evidence. Now, I want you to listen closely as the officer tells the individual inside the car who's also capturing video that the baggie is empty. Regardless, the false narrative was broadcast across the internet. You know, as Paul Harvey used to say, now let's get the rest of the story. I got specs of green, you're good to search if you need to.
Okay, there he's handed in the corner cut bag. The officer walked up and back. What's that? What's the what word? I got, I got you on camera, bro. I got you on camera. We're all good. Hey, bro, you just threw that in here. Yeah, because it was in his pocket, and I don't want to hold on to it. That's on their body cam that they took it off of him, so. You just threw that in here, bro. I got you on camera, man. I'm telling you where it came from, so. I got you on camera, bro. It's an empty baggie at the moment, too, so. Okay, buddy. Well, that's it. I don't know why the officer threw the baggie back in the car, but there was absolutely nothing in it that was of evidentiary value. At the conclusion of the stop, the driver and the occupants were allowed to leave. No arrests were made as a result of this incident, but the driver was issued the citation for speeding. So here's my question for you. Freedom of speech is one thing, but should people who knowingly spread a false narrative on social media be held accountable? Should the police officer who has apparently been improperly tagged as dirty have a right to seek litigation for slander? I'm looking forward to reading your answers below, and, and I want to thank you in advance for taking time to share them. And, and make sure you shout out to the back office. They always keep me online with new and amazing cases that are unfolding. Now, please take a moment, hit that like and subscribe button, and ring the bell so that you get all our notifications. And don't forget to hit our anniversary party on Monday night, choir practice. You're not going to want to miss it, and I hope you enjoy it. We'll see you soon at the next crime scene.